Hey everybody, I'm Doug. And I'm Sam. And this is The Bottom Line. Our episode is sponsored by Marie Yacht Goddess. Industry News. Woo! That's us. We're Yacht Industry News. <laughs> so our episode is sponsored by Marine Data Solutions and Salt Direct Crew Pro. Marine Data Solutions. No throttling, no contract, unlimited data and... No oil spills. Like for months now. Listen, they're in the communications business. If you call them, they're going to answer the phone. I mean, that's what they do. They're mm -hmm. in comms. Okay, and Salty Rags Crew Apparel. Uh, do you want the crew running around naked? No. No? Maybe some? Maybe. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, for <laughs> majority of the crew should not run around naked. I'm yeah, one of them. No. Okay. Probably, <laughs> probably for the better. Yeah. For, okay. So go to Salty Rack. Get some uniforms. They also make bedding, uh, bedding towels, and they make beds. everything. I mean, you don't even need a boat. If you have an apartment, they'll probably set you up. Okay, uh, by the way, a little later we're going to be uh, talking about mixing it up in the cruise quarters. Bow, chicka, wow, wow, chicka, wow, wow. No, no, no. 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 We're going to be talking about <laughs> why, uh, what happens when you can't get that job because you're not the right sex. Yeah. Can we say sex? Yeah, we can say that. Okay, that's not sexist? No. Okay, all right. What about sexy? No. Probably not. Okay, that. all right, scratch that. All right. What do we got? So shout out to Suki at Yachting TV today. Hey, Suki. She's helping us take this to the next level. Woo! Seems to be working, too. And shout out to Yachting International Radio. Oh, we love Yachting International Radio. Those are our distributors. We're in Thailand. Did you know that? No, actually, I did not. I don't want to know who's watching us in Thailand. Hi, though. Thailand. I know. Hey, Thailand. <laughs> Australia. You know what? I get reports. Big Australian watching people. Hey. Hi, Australia. I think it's, I think it's Auckland. <laughs> Okay, 100,000 views the last five episodes. That's, That's insane. Awesome. Okay, next, so Australia. An... Holla. What the hell are we doing in Australia? I don't know, but hey. If you're from Australia, <laughs> say something. Okay, next. So in industry news, in LA, California, British rocker Eric Clapton is unloading his luxury, luxury yacht, offering it up for auction at the Hollywood Memorial Benefit. Okay, you know you're super rich when you're giving away a yacht. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, hello, Eric. Uh, do you have anything you want to donate to the uh, music uh, memorabilia I for Hollywood? Guess I'll I, I guess I'll donate my yacht. Do you, <laughs> could you use a yacht? Where is my yacht anyway? I've left it somewhere. That's <laughs> awesome. Good for you, Eric. Uh, so Eric Clapton's donating his 156-foot yacht. That's it's awesome. estimated to be seven to ten million dollars. That's awesome. He's donating okay. a yacht. I don't even donate dinner. I, I met Eric Clapton. Oh, did you? Yeah, a couple years down in Antigua, we were pool Was partners. He nice? Uh, super nice. Really? Super, super nice. That's I think awesome. he smoked pot, though. I'm not sure. Maybe. I mean, he's, he's a very, rocker. He's he, a British rocker. Very mellow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were playing pool, and Keith Richards was cheering us on once. I completely lost it. That's so the cool. Pool table, pool stick went across the room. Pulled it. <laughs> yeah. You have you have Keith Richards go. You can do it, mate. Like, yeah. Okay. Go <laughs> Too ahead. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. Okay. Go ahead. So in Tampa, Florida, production has begun on the new Lazara ultra high volume. There's a picture of it. Super yacht. Yeah. and delivery is scheduled in early 2022. Look at this thing. It's 100 feet long and it's yeah. like 40 feet tall. Very top heavy. It's very top heavy, yeah. but this seems to be the new trend. So Lazara was out of business. Now, now they're back in business. Congratulations to Lazara. They're mm -hmm. actually, here's a picture of their 67 L S Y X X L X L S X L S X that's in production now. As you can see, that'll be hall number one of the new company. Uh, Lazara has a proud yachting history. Love to see those boats back out again. Yeah, Next. Definitely. In St. Petersburg, a deckhand decides to use the boss's boat without permission. Yeah, look at this. So here's the deal. So this, this, this guy's paid crew on this little boat and the owner went out of town. So he's trying to impress, uh, impress his little chickie right there in a black bikini. Uh, she might be worth impressing. And, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and he decides to take the boat out. Okay, so he almost he almost hit that blue yacht over there, and everybody in the harbor is telling him to shut it down, shut it down. So, you know, finally he's like, "Screw this, I'm out of here," and he's going to back out. Uh, now, I've uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is he's drunk as a skunk. Oh God, this is not good. Anymore. He's smashed. <laughs> so, so here's the boat going backwards, and I guess after a couple of minutes, he just said, "Screw it, I've had enough. I want to dock this thing," and. So he lines up for the dock, and actually he's doing a really good job lining up for the dock. And in he goes, oh, but wait, there's a boat in the slip. <laughs> and he doesn't stop, he just keeps going. Oh, ah. oh, 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 crap. Now, most people would back up after this happens, but no, he hits the throttles again and goes and destroys the pier next to it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Like a glove. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 
So I think that guy's in a little trouble. I think he's fired for sure. But I'll be honest with you, this is Florida. Yeah. This is normal. <laughs> I mean, this, this is nothing we haven't seen before. Not that's surprising. an average. That's an average Saturday. <laughs> okay, next. So in Crew Corner, we're talking about co-mixing birthing, guys and girls sharing cabins on board. You mean like getting busy? No. No. Oh, <laughs> actually, Cynthia. Uh, asked me to say something about this. Uh, she's mm. a really good girl. She's got her big license. She's got her OOW. I think it's something like 3,000 million mm. tons. Oh, wow. Good yeah. for you, Cynthia. Yeah, so she's looking for work. But anyway, she just lost another job because of birthing um, mm. uh, arrangements. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, there's been a lot of blowback about this. Uh, is this legal? Can they do this? Is this discrimination? Now, you know, disclaimer, mm -hmm. we're completely, you know, this boat, we built this boat. Uh, and uh, we have 50-50 co-birthing. Yeah. So we have 50 girls, 50% 50 girls, and 50% 50 guys. guys. Yeah. Uh, and as the newer boats come out, this is going to be less of an issue. Yeah. Okay. But can you force someone to... to uh, I mean, you can would you, would you sleep with a guy in the same cabin? In the, no. Um, I would not. I'm sure they would love to. I'd... I prefer not to. Well, I think the main thing right now is because of the lawsuit that happened a couple of years ago mm -hmm. with the, the girl yep. and who ended up getting $70 million from $70 it. $70 million. Yeah, and the owner lost the boat, right? Mm -hmm. So it's more of avoiding something that could possibly happen. And if it's avoidable, just do it. Sam's absolutely right. The yeah. guy lost his boat. Yeah. Okay, so as an owner or captain, why would you take the chance? Yeah. Why? If there's a the slightest amount of risk out there, and it really does not affect the operation at all, whether yeah. you hire a girl or a boy, okay? So that's the number one reason why. As a matter of fact, when that happened, I switched. Yeah. I, I, I broke the crew up the whole time. Now, even if you have a waiver, mm -hmm. that could still mean trouble because some, you know, oh, here's a waiver, here's a waiver, you know, uh, look, oh, by the way, come by and get some hats. We're throwing, I mean, boats are cruising by going, oh, the bottom line, duck. Okay, so, so you're in a cabin with mm -hmm. a guy. Yeah. Right, mm. and you've signed waivers. Yeah, I'm cool. I don't mind. I don't care if I'm sleeping. Okay, one night he comes home, smashed ass drunk. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's been pining for you for like a month. Yeah, and now he's like, screw it, I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. All right, you can't predict that as an owner. Yeah, so why take the chance? Exactly. Now, so that's why. That's why it is. Sue, sue, sue. Now, yeah. is it legal? Well, it says in what's yachting. The federal, what's the federal law? The federal law is in yachting, if it's under 50 people, 15, 15. people of employment, then it is legal. Yeah, completely legal. Okay, because the Fair uh, uh, the Fair Civil Rights Act of 1964, I looked it up, says you can't discriminate against your sex. Mm -hmm. How about sexy? Can you discriminate against uh, sexy? I mean, we'll just exit the sexy out. Okay, I, I might. <laughs> Too sexy to work on this boat. Boys won't be doing anything. Too okay, sexy anyway, so it's illegal. <laughs> it's illegal to uh, hire somebody or only say, I want a male or female. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a federal law. Yeah. However, like Sam just said, uh, companies, okay, I'll read it off. Private employers, state and local governments, educational institutions, public employment, uh, corporate employment, public uh, or, uh, employment agencies, labor organizations, mm -hmm. If you're under 15 employees, you're exempt from that rule. So boats are completely legal in the United States to not hire you. So keep uh, keep chugging along. Things will get better. Mm -hmm. uh, things will get better as the newer boats come out. You yeah. know, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, what do you seriously? You know, everything's hunky dory, and then like what you're laying in your cabin, and the engineer below goes. Do you mind if I sleep in the nude? <laughs> you wake up to some things you don't want to see. Wake, you wake up. <laughs> He's in the upper bunk yeah, and he I jumps know. down. Woo! And you open your eyes and, well, okay. That's <laughs> that's why we don't co-mingle. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, Avoidable. So, listen. Uh, we're next episode's going to be in the uh, Bahamas. Bahamas. We're on charter. Hopefully, we might even do it from Pig Beach. That would be great. That would be awesome. Okay. Woo. I'm Doug. And I'm Sam. And this is The Bottom Line.